Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video today, we will speak about, uh, you know, one additional contradiction for the Quran. Uh, anyway, uh, today we will show you a very simple, actually, contradiction. But that very simple one is enough to prove that Islam is not really, uh, cannot be coming from God. It's somebody is making a bunch of, con you know, stories mixed up. Very funny. Uh, let us go and see what the verse we are going to talk about today. Before we start with that verse, let us make it clear that Muslims believe, all of them agree, that shaitan is a kafir. Now for sure this is contradicting uh, the hadith where Muhammad he said that he converted his shaitan to Islam. Uh, I don't know if you remember that hadith. Just to remind you of it, this is Sahih Muslim, this is the Islamic website translation it says that uh, you know Muhammad he he said that every human being he have a devil attached to him a devil shaitan the, actually the word in Arabic is not uh, is not even a genie you know and here they are trying to make it look genie it is a, it's a, it says a shaitan uh, so Aisha uh, Muhammad he told her the Aisha like is your genie with you uh, according to translation here according to the Arabic is your devil with you is your shaitan with you as we see in here so she said, uh, and do I have a shaitan? He said, yes, I do, you do. Then she said to him, what about you? You too? Like, do you, you too, Muhammad, have a shaitan with you? Which is your, your twin, according to the story in here. Muhammad, he said, yes, I have, but Allah helped me against him, so I am saved from him, you know, from his hand, and he does not command me, but for good. And here there's something very important actually in this story. Muhammad admitting that he got commands from Shaitan. And according to this, Shaitan give him good commands. Uh, and actually, uh, Muhammad he said in in, uh, uh, in 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 the Arabic hadith that the Shaitan he became a Muslim. So Allah, he helped me against him, so the shaitan convert to Islam. Here they are translating it as he do command me as a good command, you know. Uh, without, which means taking the shaitan of, of, uh, that he convert to Islam out of the story and making it just as he is doing, uh, giving a good command. So we will focus with the good command for now. So now what we have, we have a shaitan. We have him giving commands to Muhammad, and this shaitan, his command, this devil, his command is good, as we see in here. Then we will go to the Quran, and we will see that the, the, the Quran says it clearly that all the shaitan are bad. There is no way any of them can be good. And that will prove that the whole story in here is a shish kebab. Let us say falafel, which means it's a contradiction for the Quran, and Muhammad he was not successful to make his lie work perfectly with the Quran. Because either the Quran is wrong or this hadith is wrong. Now we will show you a verse from the Quran, or we can show you many actually, saying it clearly that all the shayateen, because Muslims believe in many shaitan, by the way, they believe that shaitan he is one person. Then Shaitan, he used to have a penis in the right leg and a vagina in the left leg. So he have, you know, when he want to have sex with himself, he shake his legs so his penis go into the vagina. And then at the end of the day, he laid 10 eggs. Uh, and every day, every egg provide 70 Shaitan. Uh, for, for those who want to say, uh, this guy, maybe he is making things up. Let me show you the reference. Uh, in here, actually... <coughs> We will show you this uh, reference. Uh, this is the book of uh, Adwa al Bayan. Uh, there is many reference actually. We can show you from many Islamic scholars, but anyway, one is enough. One will do the job. Here we go. Uh, the story in front of you that uh, Allah He created to the Shaitan a penis uh, in the right leg and uh, a vagina in the left leg 
and he do f this by that sorry for the language what it says and every day he lay 10 eggs and from every egg there is uh, 70 shaitan will come out now uh, so all the shaitan according to islam because the quran says uh, that shaitan uh, the shaitan and his seeds his seeds which mean his children uh, and actually muhammad he says don't be the first one who enter the the mall or the market uh, and don't be the last one uh, because shaitan he did lay his eggs there uh, so the muslim believe that shaitan he lay eggs like chicken uh, anyway uh, as long they believe that all of them they are coming descended from the evil one the first shaitan and the rest are just from his eggs they are his children and the Quran says it clearly in many locations, uh, like example, chapter 17, 17 verse number 27, that those who, uh, you know, uh, like those who waste their money, they are the brothers of the devils. So always the devils are bad one. And the devil were ever uh, in, in, uh, in a great uh, to his Lord. They are always go far. Uh, so the devil always is a kafir and the devil is always against Allah and those who do this and this and this which mean the evil stuff Supposedly they are the brothers of the devil. So uh, it's very clear that devils in Islam uh, And I think all the Muslims agree with me that all the devils are bad and there is not even one good But then we will see something very funny in the Quran, which is the following This is a chapter two, uh, two, two three. Uh, ch sorry, chapter 26, verse number 223. Uh, we can take any translation of your choice. By the way, I don't accept any Muslim translation. All of them, they are uh, 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 incorrect. Uh, but we will go with it just to show you. So in here, Allah voluntarily is telling people about the devils. Look what he's saying. Shall I inform you upon whom the devil descend? The devils, notice with me. He is not only saying the devil, he is saying devils. There's many, which means all of them. Devils contain all of them. Shall I inform you upon whom the devils descend? They descend on every sinful false one. So devils and sin always are connected. And they descend only over the false and the sinful one. Let's make it clear. Then we will see in here something very extremely stupid and funny. They listen, they listen, hmm? they listen, by the way, listen to who? They listen to Allah, which is a contradiction for different verse in the Quran where it says that no one can listen to Allah. But uh, I will ignore this one for now and I will focus on this one because this is a contradiction for different verse where Allah, he said, devils cannot listen to his Quran. They cannot listen to his words, which means spy at him. Uh, but most of them are liars. Look at this. Most of the devils are liars. You know, when we say most of the devils are liars, this means some of them they are not. <laughs> you see the disaster? What kind of God this God is? What this Allah is talking about? How all your books saying to us that the devils are the bad one? I can show you tons of verses. The devils are the one who make people go out of heaven. The devils are the one who will deceive you. The devils are the one who they are evil. And then you say to us, but most of them are liars. Most does not mean all. And I think all of us, we agree. When we say most, it means the majority. It can be 52%, 51%, and the rest, they are good. And that is a contradiction for everything Islam teach in the whole book, in the whole Quran. So this is a very clear contradiction. Now we will go back to this contradiction here about uh, that those devils, they listen. Those devils, they listen to Allah. Uh, that is a contradiction because Allah already he said in the Quran that devils cannot listen to Allah you know and that is mentioned many times in the Quran uh, if you remember the Muslims speak about the protected uh, 
sky, you know, and they say to you, this is the atmosphere, the fact, this is was about what? Allah is saying that if the devil try to go out of the earth, Allah will shoot him with a star. Hmm? And this is how, this is why they cannot go and listen. They try to go to heaven to do what? To listen at Allah, but Allah, he don't allow them to do that. Let us read together. We go to the interpretation of chapter 5, 15, verse number 18. You will see exactly what I said. That except the one who listened to steal, which means to spy, to hear, you know, uh, he pursued by a clear flame and shining meteor. Actually, it's a shining star. So Allah showed him right away and he killed him or he burned his ass with this fire. Uh, but this is, uh, this is mean that Shaitan, he already, he did listen. He did listen already. And that is a contradiction for different verse saying the following. If we go to chapter uh, 26 to 12, we will see the following. We can read the, a few verses before and a few verses after, uh, if you want. Uh, uh, however, it's very clear in front of us. It says that Shaitan, you know, uh, they are banished from hearing. Hearing what? Hearing Quran, hearing the word of Allah. So they cannot at all listen. But in the other verse, we just showed you the one who listen, Allah then will show him. In this, in this Quran here, this is chapter, chapter 26, it says that the Quran is not brought down to earth with the devil. The devils did not bring it down. Why? Why? Because simply, verily they are banished from the hearing, which means they cannot go to heaven and listen to the Quran. And by the way, if you don't believe me, we can go and read the interpretation. So we will go in the same place we did read before. This is chapter 26. You know, we did read the ch chapter 15, verse number 18. It says, who listen, which means he listened first. The other verse is going to show you the opposite. Let us go and see the interpretation. As you see in here, read with me. This is chapter 26, verse number 212. It says that they are restrained with a blazing star from hearing. And by the way, this is the same, you know, like in different verse, the Muslim, they speak about atmosphere. They say the Quran saying the sky is protected. This is what the Quran is speaking about. Fairy tale story. They make it about atmosphere. Quran is speaking about if Shaitan tried to go out of heaven, of the uh, zone of the earth, Allah will shoot him with a star. And imagine Allah will shoot Shaitan who live in the earth with a star. And he will kill Shaitan without destroying the earth. How that happened? I don't know. And according to Muhammad, Shaitan can sleep in your nose. He's very small. So he need a star to kill him. But anyway, so Allah... He restrains Shaitan from going to heaven, so he don't listen, and this is why he cannot hear. Allah speaking to the angels, giving them the Quran. How he is, uh, uh, he is banning them from going there, because he have a defense system. He shoot any Shaitan in his ass if he try to get close to the heaven of Allah, so he cannot listen. But that is a contradiction for the other verse where it says that Shaitan he will listen, and after he listen, Allah will shoot him. As we see in here, except the one who listen. After he listen, he will shoot him. And there, in the other verse, this is chapter 5, 15, verse number 18. In the other verse, it is the opposite. He cannot listen because Allah will shoot him first. <clears throat> According to this verse in here, he can he not only he can listen, he do listen, but then Allah will shoot him with a star. <laughs> it's a messed up. I hope guys uh, you have a good time. Follow with me with more videos. Christ is Lord. Islam is funny and for dummy. I mean to that.